Hey, what's up there, guys? This is a uh, domination match on Favela. Um, yeah, this is actually becoming a uh, uh, excuse me, uh, one of my favorite maps. Uh, I never really disliked it, but it wasn't really a favorite of mine. But uh, now I really enjoy playing it, and it's pretty awesome. Yeah, so um, today was a weird day. It uh, started off kind of early. <laughs> I woke up at six. I went to bed around four or so. So hadn't had much sleep. And the reason I got up so early is uh, my sister left today, uh, going back to Brazil. But uh, she's actually stopping off at uh, LA for about a week or so. I don't, I don't know specifically uh, how long, but yeah, a, a, around a week. And she's going to visit my brother who lives in LA and yeah just kind of uh, meet up with them uh, so that's nice uh, yeah so so I went to the uh, airport with her and my dad and we parted ways said our goodbyes and it was uh, a good goodbye I mean no goodbye is good but you know yeah I, I think yeah guys understand what I'm trying to say um <laughs> but yeah and uh, me and my dad coming back home uh, we, we had breakfast and, and some coffee and stuff and it was good and we uh, got back to Kyoto which is the uh, city right next to us I, I live in between two uh, city and, uh, prefectures and um, Kyoto is one of them so I uh, we when we got back to Kyoto uh, We've been uh, planning to see public enemies for a while, and so we uh, <laughs> checked the time schedule, and there's one perfect timing. And yeah, so we uh, watched public enemies, uh, but about 10 15 minutes in, my dad got a phone call and was interrupted and had to uh, leave and take it. And it was my sister, and they wouldn't let her out of the country because of some passport stuff. Um, so yeah, that was kind of stressful, and she's kind of. Uh, freaking out, but everything's worked out. She's on a plane right now, and hopefully she has a great flight. So yeah, um, yeah. I didn't explain at all about this match. So um, this is a interesting match because it is um a game with no kill streaks at all, and uh, why that is is um two, uh, three reasons. Uh. <laughs> I remember uh, one of my first uh, nuke gameplays that I put up, uh, I got a comment uh, saying, hey, you don't have any skill, the only reason you're getting decent scores is because of your kill streaks." So uh, yeah, that kind of kept with me, and I, I don't agree with that at all. Um, I mean, uh, yeah, I, I, I just don't. and. Yeah, so I, I was thinking, you know, it'd be interesting to actually do a game without kill streaks at all. So I thought I'd do one for you guys, mix it up a bit, and um, I'm gonna be doing like little challenge stuff like this. Um, and I have uh, like a knife only game that I have, uh, which I don't, I don't really enjoy knifing too much. So kind of interesting uh, fail right there. Thought he's <laughs> enemy. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm gonna be mixing it up, bringing some weird challenges that hopefully none, uh, not too many other commentators have done, but um, maybe they do, and uh, well, yeah, hopefully mine will be entertaining. So here's the uh, first kind of challenge. I don't know if you'd call it that, but uh, yeah. Um, so me, 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 me. What I meant to say is, uh, my class setup is uh, the M4A1 carbine, which is a pretty good gun actually. You get it at a pretty low level as well, um, so just using it. It uh, works well with the silencer, you can use stopping power with it, and uh, I usually would, but I wanted to go with cold blooded. Just so, um, well, in Call of Duty there's bound to be at least one player on the other team with a, a UAV. So, uh, I want to make sure that they cannot see me at all on radar um, or, you know, on their heartbeat sensors and all that good stuff. So, yeah, I'm using my perk setup is Scavenger Pro, so I have extra ammo. Um, 
also because I'm using Claymores. Uh, the Cobra Pro and Ninja Pro, uh, which is a great setup. Um, it, it's very kind of sneaky. And uh, I'm using my headphones so I can kind of hear people coming, but not too well because uh, they're not surround sound headphones or anything. But uh, yeah. So, um, yeah. Uh, some other stuff is. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, uh, my secondary, uh, you might have seen me used, is the uh, Akimbo Rafika. And uh, the reason I'm using those is they're great. They're absolutely awesome. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about gameplay. Uh, or, yeah, mention on how I play this game. And, uh, especially in this, this, uh, one. This, uh, specific match. And, uh, I'm playing, uh, very... Um... I'm I'm not camping at all. I, I don't think I stay in one position for too long just because it is risky, and especially if you kill someone in that area, um, you will usually have uh, someone come back for revenge. And uh, I'm always trying to keep constantly moving. And sometimes you do kind of get caught up in one position for a little while, and it kind of depends on where the enemy's at and all that good stuff. But yeah, so um, I'm I'm playing this game kind of uh, aggressively. Uh, but I, I am keeping my distance and trying to flank and just just uh, get them from behind. And I think almost all my kills are uh, from behind. And <laughs> uh, wow, um, yeah, like I uh, flank a lot, and uh, it, that's a great way to play the game. And Call of Duty is all about thinking, and that this is a real kind of. Um, strategic I guess game and uh, if you kind of see how I play I uh, keep going around the sides um, sometimes through the middle and um, just try and pick as many people as I can off and uh, I think I do a pretty decent job uh, you guys can tell me what you guys think uh, say or tell, tell me if you enjoyed this and uh, I could probably get a better match this was just the uh, first game I did no kill streaks, and then I put kill streaks back on. Um, but yeah, if you guys would like to see more of these, uh, tell me in the comment section and uh, tell me what you thought about this. And um, if I do another one, I'll talk more about gameplay and just kind of uh, how to how to go around the map um, the best way. And uh, yeah, sorry, I, I just kind of had a stressful day and kind of wanted to talk about it. Um, yeah. Uh, I went to the pet store today. Adorable. I saw this the cutest kitten ever. Just absolutely adorable. This is a stupid move. I should have just stayed there. Uh, but yeah. Oh well. Um, the reason why we're dominating them, even though they are pretty decent players on the other team, it's uh because I'm playing with Japanese people and uh, if you guys have never played with a whole bunch of Japanese guys you will understand they play totally different to uh, most Western players and um, they play so aggressively um, there are a lot of pretty insane uh, quick scoping guys that I know and uh, they're a whole bunch of fun to play with and a lot of them don't really care about the K their KD. It's just kind of like, hey, let's just let's play for you know. I'll play how I want, and I won't get judged, kind of thing. I don't know. Like uh, a lot of Western players are now getting on to KD, and hey, to just kind of base their uh, whole base skill on your KD, which I think is stupid because I don't care about my KD at all. Um, I mean, when I'm getting a match to commentate on, I obviously play a bit more uh, defensive. Uh, I, I don't think I camp at all. Um, sure, I do now and then, but uh, I usually try and stay away from from all that. And yeah, um, yeah. So Japanese players are really aggressive. Uh, don't really care about KD. It's just kind of uh, in for the ride. And it's 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 really fun playing with them. Uh, I actually know quite a few Japanese players, and the reason behind that is, well, I live in Japan. For those of you who don't know, and uh, 
living in Japan, you get bad connections. So whenever I come across some good uh, Japanese players, I uh, make sure to add them because I want to uh, be able to have great connections and play with people who are, you know, a challenge challenge to uh, play with. So the guys I'm playing with are are not uh, noobs at all, and they're actually really great. Um, a few of them are, but uh, majority of the guys uh, on their team are actually really great players. So yeah, um, coming to the end of the match here. Um, I mean, considering I don't have kill streaks and I didn't, you know, have a harrier get me some kills or you know a predator. Uh, I think I did relatively well. I got 33, 4, and 7. Um, so yeah, join me next time guys, peace, have a good one, and uh, greetings from Japan, kanpai. <laughs> Cheers.